What's going on, everybody? Soliacker here, and I don't do reaction videos really, um, but I had a few subscribers send me this video, and I got about 53 seconds into this video. And um, just so you know, uh oh, we're 53 seconds, and um, after the first 53 seconds, I was like, you know, something. This is something I, I probably should make a, a reaction to because what he what he's what he's saying in the, in this song is just facts. Just in the first minute, just in the first minute. So the name of the channel I'll leave it in the link below, but it's the name of the channel is called Samson. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to dig deep into this guy because um, if he makes songs like this I can only imagine what the rest of his channels like so but we're gonna get into this one so uh, let's see here oh no that's not it all right let's get into this all right if you give them an inch we'll take a mile yep fact Don't tread on me Those are words that I stand by, homie It doesn't mean I'm gangster It doesn't mean I'm country It means that my life is in my hands only I don't have money for security I don't have armed guards that I keep stuck around me You don't think I deserve protection like you do And that means you don't give a fuck about me Gated community, that's what you live in Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in So come down here and hang with us for a minute See if you leave with the same fucking opinion Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? You Nah, me motherfucker, I'm the only one that That's right, me motherfucker Come and take it, come and take it I told you, we're 45 seconds into this And I told you, I only saw up to 53 seconds This song got me all hyped up I was like, oh man He's just spitting the facts Just spitting the facts First, this is 45 seconds And I'm just like, oh shit Oh shit that's why I said I I had to make this reaction video. I, I don't do you probably everybody else is probably gonna hate this video, but I, I'm I'm just saying this this whew. let's continue. It's got my back, it's dog eat dog, these are not no cats. There's cops in Michigan that can't even respond to the calls because the cars ain't got no gas. Great <laughs> Once again, another fact. I, I had to look it up because I I couldn't believe it. And this is at the 53 second mark. I was like, what? And uh, yeah, due to, if it's a non-threatening, non-life-threatening call, the Michigan police aren't showing up. <laughs> I just wanted to make that clear. Let's continue. Police don't have any fuel. You don't know if they'll arrive when you call them. The babies are starving. My girlfriend can't find a tampon, and yet somehow you and I are the problem. <laughs> I've never bought a gun without having my background scanned and approved. The only loophole I've seen on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard yeah. through. It's not true that you can go to the store and just swipe your card and get a Glock and run. It's funny. The people that say that shit have literally never even shot one. Fact. Hey, Matthew McConaughey. Shut the fuck up Just cause you murdered people on screen Doesn't mean you know shit about guns You dumb fuck What? You worried about us? What about all of those violent movies that you played? How about you go talk to Alec Baldwin Before you start telling me what to do? Oh, 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 oh shit Oh shit Oh shit He went there <laughs> Oh shit <laughs> Oh McConaughey and Alec Alec Baldwin and Matthew McConaughey should go hang out at the gun range and they should learn how to shoot guns together and see what happens. <laughs> All right. It, is the, it ain't over. It ain't over yet. Minute 31. It's still not over. 
you Valdi? I was horrified by it. That's your hometown, you were born right by it. It probably cuts deep, and I hope that it does, cause you work in an industry that glorifies violence. It's more your fault than it will ever be mine. The Lord only knows how many crimes that you've influenced throughout your whole career, cause I've seen you kill people plenty of times. Yep. What do you think is gonna cause a shooting? A YouTube video of a gun review? Or a Hollywood murder scene that seems so realistic it looks like it's from the news? So next time they. Dude, all right. I'm, if he's not speaking the truth, leave a comment down in the comment section. Um, holy crap! I, I, I'm, I'm shocked. I'd never heard of this guy before. Like, I thought I, I've heard of a couple other songs that were like pro Second Amendment, but this, nothing like this. All right, let's keep going. Point your finger with a stupid opinion and chime in with it Remember, it ain't me that they're trying to be like, dog. It's you that they're trying to mimic I feel way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed If something happens like a mass shooting, I have a way less chance of being lethally harmed The criminal is gonna think twice if he knows everybody is a piece underneath their clothes And Mayor Lightfoot will probably tell you different, but <laughs> Have you seen Chicago? And no, before- <laughs> Once again <laughs> Oh, Chicago High crime rates, New York, I mean, a bunch of them. Any of these states that are like, oh, no, 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 no concealed weapon permit for you. None of that. No, 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 no. How, how, how do the people protect themselves when the cops don't have gas to get to you? <laughs> oh, my. oh, God. Dude. <laughs> I don't want to be like Canada either And I don't want to be like Australia I'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter There's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens Like fucking throw them in camps And there's a reason that our government doesn't even try that shit Cause they know that they can't nope. If you don't think for one split second That if we didn't have our second amendment The government wouldn't overstep its boundaries And make us do shit even when we're against it You're out of your mind I don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote That's dandy and fine if you trust Uncle Sam But I for one fucking don't And why would I? What if they done give me a reason for me to believe them they want to trade me a little security in exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom they don't want to take away guns because they care about you and they want to keep you safe at night they want to take away guns because it's easy to control people if they don't have any way to fight hey buddy what's your little ar-15 gonna do when the government comes to take it well ukraine started handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the russians invaded so what about that i thought it wouldn't help i guarantee that it'd be better than nothing i hope it never does but if the day comes i bet that you're gonna wish that you had something this is the only country on earth where the people have real strength And nowadays with all the shit going on It's the only thing that makes me feel safe If there's anything that I've learned in the past couple years Looking back at the pandemic All of the shit that we have is fragile And it could snap at any second Fuck all of the politicians, I don't trust anything they say Take the word gun out of gun control And that's all that it is at the end of the day Yeah, don't trust them politicians Them politicians are just lying to all of us Every one of them they're all for themselves. They, they talk a big game and they try to do the right thing. But most often than not, they've got their own hidden agenda. Don't give a fuck how crazy you think that I look or I sound when I say this shit. But our second amendment's the only thing that stands between us and a dictatorship. And as for the kids... Ah. I'm not a security a video, expert, one so left. I won't act like one. But I think that if we can send over $50 billion to Ukraine, we could surely spend that much, or more, or less, here, in our own country, to fortify our schools and make them more secure so that every kid can get an education safe and sound. Place several trained armed guards in every school across America. You know, real men who won't stand by for 45 minutes in the hallway while a shooting unfolds in front of their own eyes. And pay them well, too. There's veterans that need the work. Why not protect our kids the same way that we protect you? Politicians are protected by guns. Celebrities are protected by guns. Every important person that walks this earth is protected by a gun. But our kids? They're important, just not as much as you. My kids are protected by guns. My family are protected by guns. 
I dare you to try to come take my guns. Because my guns aren't for sale and I'm not giving them up. I just, I, like I said, y'all, the name of the channel, the name of the channel is Samson, or S Samson, links in the description. This guy is on straight beast mode, beast mode. So go over to his channel, let him know the arm fisherman sent you, sent you over, and, um, yeah, dude, this guy is just, whew. and now I'm about to get into his other, more of his videos. So, um, yeah, let's get into it together, and um, don't forget to hit that like, share, and that subscribe button, all that good stuff. Um, uh, for everybody that's in the Florida area, and you're, you're on the West Coast, or anywhere in the state, be careful, Hurricane Ivan is coming. Um, just stay safe. If you feel you need to get out, get out. If you feel you need, you're you safe and, and you feel you're going to be safe, stay safe. And um, I'm out. Soliacker. Deuces.